Hello everybody, today we are going to look at gram-negative bacilli. So these are bacteria that actually show up as pink rods uh, right after gram stain under microscopic view. The first bacteria we are going to look at is Escherichia coli. So Escherichia coli are mixed rods, they are gram-negative bacilli. They also grow well within 24 hours at 35 degrees Celsius on routine laboratory media such as blood, McConkey or chocolate agar. They also grow in the presence of bile salts. They ferment lactose on McConkey plates which turns the plate pink. Uh, McConkey agar is actually used to distinguish those bacteria that ferment lactose from those that do not. Sorbitol, sorbitol McConkey, on the other hand, is used to isolate the serotype O157. So E. coli uh, O157 differs from other strains of E. coli in being uh, unable to ferment uh, sorbitol. Uh, the O refers to the cell wall antigen number. Uh, it stands for Ofne Hausch, which is uh, German for without film. They are glucose and lactose fermenters, and they are indole positive. So an indole test is a biochemical test performed on bacterial species to determine the ability of the uh, organism to convert tryptophan into indole. So this is uh, Escherichia coli growing on McConkey plate. And this is Escherichia coli under microscopic view. So Escherichia coli are aerobic. They are the most common cause for urinary tract infections in young women. Cause cystitis, pyelonephritis, sepsis, neonatal meningitis and enteric diseases. The enterohemorrhagic E. coli causes hemolytic uremic syndrome and enterotoxigenic E. coli causes traveler's diarrhea. Next bacteria we are going to look at is Klebsiella pneumoniae. So Klebsiella pneumoniae are encapsulated and have thick caps. They are gram-negative bacilli. Uh, they are glucose and lactose fermenters. They form pink uh, mucoid colonies 3 to 4 millimeters in diameter on McConkey agar. They form purple colonies on EMB. So EMB stands for eosinmethylene blue, also known as Levine's formulation. Uh, it's a slightly selective stain for gram-negative bacteria. It is actually a blend of eosin and methylene blue stains in the ratio of 6 to 1. Also provides a color indicator distinguishing between organisms that ferment lactose, for example, E. coli, from those that do not, like uh, Salmonella or Shigella. Organisms that ferment lactose usually display nucleated colonies, which is a term that uh, means colonies with dark centers. They are also oxidase negative, lactose positive, and indole negative. This is a uh, Klebsiella pneumonia. You can see that they form uh, uh, pink uh, mucoid colonies. Klebsiella pneumonia under uh, microscopic view, you can see that they are surrounded by a thick capsule. So Klebsiella pneumonia, they are aerobic and encapsulated also facultative, facultative anaerobes. They cause pneumonia, uh, thick blood sputum and urinary tract infections. The autoimmune disease, uh, ankylosing uh, spondylitis, is thought to be a possible sequelae of Klebsiella infection. So an ankylosing uh, spondylitis is a long-term arthritis. Ankylos uh, meaning crooked spondylus vertebrae and itis is inflammation. It affects the bones and joints at the base of the spine where it connects to the pelvis. So these joints then become swollen and inflamed and over time the affected spinal bones then join together. Next bacteria, uh, Proteus species, these Proteus genus. 
So Proteus species are rods, they are gram-negative bacilli, they form swarming colonies due to the hundreds of flagella on each bacterium. They are glucose fermenters, oxidase negative, non-lactose fermenters, urease positive. So a urease test is a test that is done to identify organisms that are capable of hydrolyzing urea to produce ammonia and carbon dioxide. Some strains of Proteus, OXK, OX2 and OX19 have antigens in common with the pathogenic Rickettsia which allows the use of protea Proteus antigens to test for antibodies to Rickettsial diseases. This is Proteus of vulgaris a species Proteus uh, growing on McConkey agar. Proteus uh, under microscopic view. Proteus species, they are aerobic, facultative anaerobes. It's the third most common cause of urinary tract infections of the uh, Escherichia coli and Staphylococcus saprophyticus. Also causes kidney stones, magnesium, calcium, ammonium sulfate due to the presence of urease in Proteus mirabilis. How it does this is by uh, increasing the alkalinity of urine. Also causes wound infection, septicemia and pneumonia, most commonly in hospitalized patients. Next bacteria, Salmonella enterica. So Salmonella enterica are long, so they are gram-negative bacilli, grows among concave, forming medium uh, medium-sized grayish colonies and also causing no alteration to blood. Uh, they are aerobic. So this is Salmonella enterica growing on blood agar. Salmonella enterica in the microscopic view. Yeah, quite long actually. Salmonella species, uh, we have Salmonella enterica and Salmonella Typhi, these are the ones of great importance. Salmonella typhi causing typhoid fever. So gas salmonella enterica causes, on the other hand, causes gastroenteritis, fever, abdominal pain, and cramps. Uh, ingestion of contact, usually due to the ingestion of contaminated food and poor hygienic practices. And as I said earlier, Salmonella typhi causes typhoid fever. I'll go through this in a separate lecture. Next bacteria, uh, Shigella boidae. Zero uh, group C, Shigella boidae are long. They're gram negative bacilli, they grow in McConkie and are aerobic. Shigella boidae and the microscopic view. Shigella boidae uh, uh, causes human diarrheal illnesses, uh, causes diarrhea, fever, and stomach cramps, usually due to the ingestion of contaminated food and poor hygienic practices. Next bacteria, Shigella dysenteriae, from the uh, zero group A. Shigella dysenteriae are long non-spore forming their gram-negative bacilli. They grow in McConkie but are not lactose fermenters. Uh, and they also produce hydrogen sulfide on TSI. Uh, TSI stands for triple sugar iron, uh, which is actually a microbiological test that determines the ability of microorganisms to ferment sugar and to produce uh, hydrogen sulfide. They are aerobic, facultative anaerobes. This is uh, Shigella growing on various different agar plates. Shigella dysenteriae under microscopic view. So Shigella uh, dysenteriae causes epidemic dysentery, causes diarrhea, fever and stomach cramps. 
So it just it's usually caused by the ingestion of uh, contaminated food or poor hygienic practices. Hemolytic uremic syndrome can occur after type 1 uh, Shigella dysentery infection. Shigella flexneri, Shigella flexneri are long, zero group B. They are gram negative bacilli, they uh, grow on uh, McConkey. Uh, also grows on uh, hecto and enteric agar, H E K, H hecto and enteric agar, H E agar, I'm sorry. Uh, so, so uh, hecto and enteric. Uh, agar is actually a selective and differential agar that prevents the growth of gram-positive bacteria used to uh, recover salmonella and shigella from patient specimens. Also contain uh, indicators of lactose uh, fermentation and uh, hydrogen sulfide uh, production. Shigella flexneri growing on hecto and uh, enteric agar. Shigella flexneri under microscopic view. So Shigella flexneri are aerobic, causes diarrhea, fever and stomach cramps, usually due to ingestion of contaminated food and poor hygienic practices. Next bacteria, Shigella sonei. Uh, Shigella sonei are long, zero group D, they are gram negative bacilli, they also grow on McConkey, they form light yellow irregular colonies, they are catalase positive and are oxidase negative. This is Shigella sonei, Shigella sonei under microscopic view. So Shigella sonei are aerobic, facultative anaerobes causes diarrhea, fever and stomach cramps. So a severe infection with high fever may be associated with seizures in children less than two years of age. So it's usually due to ingestion of contaminated food and poor hygienic conditions. That's all for today. Uh, stay tuned for part two. With that, I thank you.